Good morning. We're here at home at Refugio Tiplano this morning, the 1st of October. And I'm going to talk to you today about soul retrieval and witchcraft. Going back to the origins of the work we do here, we began in 1995. Now, I remember a story from that first year when people came here to ask me if I could help them with their uncle, who was supposedly witched, and he wasn't able to come to the center because he was swelled up and in too much pain. So what we did is we went up river in a canoe, and I found a gentleman with a swelled up back in a lot of pain laying on a bed, and I said, where's the witch? And they said, the, the neighbor right over there is a very powerful witch. And so I look out, and there's a farmer there working in the field, and every time he'd look our way, the people would crouch down to the ground like they didn't want to be, be hexed. And I checked the man out, and he had a kidney infection and a urine infection. But he convinced himself that he was completely witched. So I chanted and used a shikap on him to take the witchcraft off. Told him, now the witchcraft is gone, but I'm going to give you a shot and some herbs to make sure that it does not return. And I gave him anti-inflammatory and antibiotic shot. He was better, considerably better the following day and took the herbs and it never came back. Now he is convinced that he had been witched. He had a very bad urine and kidney infection. Now that sort of a thing happens very frequently in the third world and also in the first world. The type of witchcraft that we encounter now, especially from the Occidental world where we have most of our clients come from, is through chemical antidepressants. Now that will also take away the personality, take away the self-confidence, take away the soul, take away the ability to be spontaneous, to have a good social and sex life. Now that is, to a certain extent, Witchcraft or stealing of the soul takes away self-confidence from people and turns their life into a very automated, dependable, but no spontaneous emotion or joy. Now that is a lot of the treatment that we do these days, is that we heal people of any to sort of aberration psychosomatically with ayahuasca, with herbal medicine, and also with the integrative occidental medicine sometimes, depending on the case. We are constantly acting to cure the patient, to make them completely independent, self-satisfied, comfortable with themselves, so that they can go back to their lives, enjoy themselves, smile when they wake up in the morning, smile at their neighbors when they walk out on the street, and enjoy their children, their families, and their relationships. That is basically the psychosomatic healing that we do here. And what we have to do generally is teach people to enjoy themselves, to stop doing penance, to stop worrying about things that are not going right around them, but to begin enjoying their lives and to enjoy them as individuals, not as anybody cloned out and trying to act exactly as they have been told to act. They have, we have to be natural in order to be superlatively happy and at peace. Now, a lot of people come here depressed, and in a very short time they go away completely self-confident, happy, and ready to go back to their lives, and ready to go back to being a positive influence in the community, very much like we are here. They're in tune with their environment, they're in tune with their souls, they're in tune with themselves, and they're also in tune with the ground they walk on and with their neighbors, their friends, and their families, and their wives, and the people they work for as well. Now, it's extremely important to feel that way and extremely important to have your feet solidly on the ground and to be able to smile at yourself and to be able to think good thoughts about the people that depend on you and about the future, because we create the future to a certain extent by expectations. And we expect the best, and we expect things to continue getting better, and they always have. Ever since we began working here 17 years ago, they've continued to escalate, and they've continued to become more effective and more joyful, 
and we enjoy having people here. Right now we have seven people and we have a few more arriving this afternoon. And so I invite you to Refugio di Plano. I hope you can come someday because you're going to love it here and we'd love to work with you and to meet you. Thank you very much for your attention.